Project 31 is Home Run Derby game. For this project, we are going to select game 12 and hit the B button. And then we're going to push the B button and the LEDs will light up. And you have to hit the B button just at the right time as they switch color. And you have to hit the B button at just the right time. Wet, right after the green LED lights up. This requires very good reaction time and coordination. And every time you miss, an out will be registered. Right now I have six outs. Once you get ten outs, the game is over and you lose. A, winning, a losing song will be played. Hitting the B button is like batting the ball. Now that I got ten outs, I lost. To make the game more fun, you can have multiple people play and say who can get the most home runs before you get 10 outs. Any home runs you get will be recorded. Project 32 is very similar, but we will use game 13, and this is called baseball game. What we will do is, the well, gameplay is very similar. Hit the B button and the LEDs will switch colors. And you have to push the B button at just the right time. In this game, what makes it different than the previous project, than a home run derby, is that if you once you get three outs, you lose the game and it will move on to the next inning. And then you can have multiple people play and play a nine inning game to find out who will score the most runs. I'm going to see if I can get the a home run. There we go. The crowd is cheering and then your home runs will be recorded. I got three out, so I lost the game. Project 33 is memory game, very easy. Now, besides this project, there are four other variants of the memory game, but all have the same principle. For the very easy version, we're going to select game 14, and then a random sequence of LEDs will light up, like you can see that there's the red LED, but once we hit the B button, the LEDs will flash in a progressive pattern, almost like Simon says. And you have to hit the appropriate buttons on the S8 module in order to respond. For the red LED, you would hit the A button, the yellow LED, the B button, and the green LED, the C button. Now, if you uh, get three in a row light, the LEDs will flash, and the U29 display will say, oh yeah, two times before the game resets. If you were to enter the wrong sequence, like I hit the B button for the yellow LED instead, the display will say, oh no and the game will reset. Project 34 is memory game easy. Now this uh, version of the memory game is slightly harder, but still relatively easy to master. Hit the B button. And in this case, you have to get eight of these in a right in a row 
in order for the display to light up in order to win. I lost, so, but now you, you kind of get the idea. Project 35 is memory game medium. It's going to be a little bit harder than the previous project, and we will have to get at least eight right in order to win. The LEDs will flash faster. Although it will be a little bit harder, it will not take as long to win if you get everything right because of how quickly the rounds are. I lost. Project 36 is memory game hard and we will select game 17, which I already did. Now this time we'll have to get 12 of these right in order to win. Project 37 is Memory Game Progressive. We will select Game 18. Now, in this version of the game, the patterns will change slowly, but as the game progresses, they're going to accelerate. It's easy because it's the same LED flashing. I won. The LEDs flash and the display shows, oh yeah. Project 38 is called 21, and this is meant to represent the card game. Game 19 is used, and to play, we will press C to get a first playing card. Now all jacks, queens, and... Kings are displayed as a 10, while an ace is displayed as an 11. And then the player has either the option to stand, in which they hit the A button, and then if the computer, then the computer would draw a card. And if they get over more than what you have picked, but do not go over the number 21, then the computer will win. I picked 9. And I pre chose to stand, and so the computer did not get over me. Or they, in this case, they went over 21. 
and so the a winning song was played in the programmable fan base uh, briefly spun. As an alternative to Project 38, Project 39, called Disco 21, requires you to replace the programmable fan with the disco motor. Now I'm going to play, try playing a couple times with this component. I lost this time. The computer scored more than me. And now I'm going to draw. I got a 16. I'm going to choose to stand. And I beat the computer. The disco motor will light up and spin in addition to the speaker sounding. Project 40 is binary coded decimal and we will select game 20. Now when the display says go, we will look, press the C button and the U29 display will show zero and all three LEDs will be off. Now when you hit the C button again, the number one will be displayed and the red LED will come on. Now two is displayed and the yellow LED is on. For three, both the yellow and red LEDs are on and each number up to seven has a unique combination of LEDs that are lit. This is to rep help represent the way that computers store information. Most computers use the binary system in which there are only two states, 0 or 1, because the simple electronic memory circuit actually storing it can only be on or off. And binary uses several two-state numbers to represent a single number with more states, like an octal number with eight states or a decimal number with ten states. For this project, we have eight states, including zero, in which all LEDs are off. Project 41 is called Blink Rate Changer. We are going to turn on the slide switch and then enter the number 21 on the display. When we press the B button, the red LED will be flashing now, if you watch carefully, it will flash at different rates. It will start blinking slowly and then will increase until it looks like it is on continuously and then slow down. The flash rate will then increase again in a pattern. So it's an interval of up and down. Project 42 is called click rate changer. As you can see, the only component I replaced was the LED in which I put the speaker in its place. Let's see what happens. The rate of clicking the speaker makes now changes. Project 43 is double changing blinker. As you can see, I added the yellow LED and red LED to the, in addition to the red one. And let's see what happens when we hit the B button. The LEDs switch on and off at different rates. Miss Snappy here says, it's hard to see because of my shadow, but the red and yellow LEDs are alternating and even when they are blinking quickly, they're not on at the same time. This display may remind you of a traffic, a warning traffic signal, of a tra traffic warning signal.
Project 44 is variable disco speed. We will select the number 21 and let's see what occurs. Now be aware there are a lot of flashing lights. The bicolor LED, which is red, it may be hard to tell with the camera, but it is red. The those on the disco motor and the motor itself all activate at different intervals, as you can see. As mentioned earlier, I cannot use the disco motor. As mentioned in my previous video, I cannot use the disco cover because the shaft is broken. Project 45 is called variable speed variance. And for this one, we can either switch the bicolor LED around, so now it is yellow, but also we can use either the red or green LEDs or the speaker. I am going to put the speaker in place. You don't really hear anything, but the speaker might make a few loud clicks. Here's the green LED. And then here's the red LED. I'm actually going to do all of them since I, it doesn't take that long. And there you have it for 45.